So now we're on the iPad on site, we can start to create issues. Um, issues can be from snags to any any sort of issue on site at all. Um, so if I hit issues, that's going to take me into my issues list now. So I can see at the top, we've actually filtered this by location and locations are predefined before we give the iPads out to the site team to use. So it makes using the iPad on site very easy. So all I've done here is at the top, I'm in building one, ground floor dining room. So I've filtered out my location. So this is going to give me the list of issues for that particular location. So we can see that we've got one issue in the middle for the flooring subcontractor, and that says poor finish. We cannot deliver this. Please rectify ASAP. Um, you can see on the right hand side, it says flooring subcontractor, and they've got a yellow um, a yellow color associated to them um, and we've got a location underneath the description so we've got building one ground floor dining room so in that one issue there's a load of information there so you what the issue is where it is and who's responsible for doing it and because everybody's on the BIM 360 field project um, the person that's created this issue i.e me the, the main contractor I've gone into my issue so I'm going to tap on that issue there I've typed in poor finish, we cannot deliver this, please rectify ASAP. I've added a photo then, which is the finish of the floor there. Um, come out of that and we can add some comments. We can give it an issue type, so that is a non-conforming uh, quality. Um, we can then come down to company. So. This then brings up a list of companies that are on the project. And in this case, it's the flooring subcontractor that needs to be notified. As soon as you tap that and save the issue, the flooring subcontractor will then be notified and the, the issue will then start to be tracked. So the status is now in dispute. So when I initially create an issue, the issue will be open. The flooring subcontractor will then maybe not agree with me. So he will then mark it as in dispute. This will then start the tracking of the issue. We've got a date created in there, we've got the author, and we've got due date as to when we wanted it to be uh, to be completed by. Um, now, root calls. We have the ability to add in a root calls here. So we can either start from a list of templates, which we've set up already, but as you go, we can give it a root calls. Um, in this case, the incorrect, incorrect material has been used. Um, and then as we start adding more and more issues and snags, Back in our reporting, which we showed in the first video, uh, we can then report on root cause. So it will give us a quick analysis of what the most common cause is in terms of our snags. And then we've got location again, building one, ground floor, dining room. So this is really where you create and track all of your issues on site. And this will also um, keep reminding people as well that they need to resolve that issue. So there's no more chasing up people. Uh, there's no more kind of taking a photo on site with your phone, um, then going back to the office, uploading the photo to your email, writing them an email, sending the email, and the email probably being forgotten about, um, and which, which will just lead to longer delays in getting that issue resolved. The issue is tracked on the system here, and the system will remind the whole project team that this issue hasn't yet been resolved. What I can also do is come up to the top left hand side and hit pins. And because everybody has an associated color with their company, we can then see where these snags are in relation to the drawing. Um, and then live in here, we can just tap on a pin and look through that issue like so quite a handy tool to give you a overview of how many snags there are on where those snags are we can also do things with barcodes um so for example in this room this dining room we can put a barcode on the door so when you're on site we can come up to the barcode with our ipad and we can go to our barcode scanner at the bottom left hand corner we can scan the barcode and that will then take us back into our list here of all of those snags in the room which is very handy indeed